Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. This video gives a brief overview of the Eugene 1.15 new features. We have improved Eugene's ability of working with shared databases. It is possible now to use the databases in your workflows. Workflows can use databases in two ways. Read data from a database and write data to it. The new Eugene version provides the in silico PCR feature. You can set a primers pair and simulate your PCR experiment. You can keep a library of your primers. Add primers into the library and they will be stored there between Eugene sessions. The primers from the library can be used for running in silico PCR. The feature of subsequences searching has become more convenient. Now you can search a subsequence like you do it in web browsers. Enter a target subsequence, navigate through the results, and then create annotations if you like. Most sequence algorithms in Eugene have been improved for working with circular sequences. The algorithms are Smith-Waterman searching, local and remote blast, ORFs searching, Primer3, and others. If a sequence is circular, then the algorithms automatically consider this property during the calculations. We have added the new options panel for adjusting the circular view of sequences. Now you can change many options for getting the needed picture. The long-awaited feature, de novo assembling tool, has finally appeared in Eugene. We integrated the Spades de novo assembler. This assembler is good in assembling of single-cell and multi-cell bacterial datasets. The Spades assembler is available in the special genome assembling dialog and in the workflow designer. It is possible now to export the coverage of assemblies to a file. The exported text file contains a table that describes the count of aligned short reads for each assembly position. Thank you for watching the podcast.